Hello Cancer, this is Deborah, Deborah Clare Channel Guidance, and this is going to be your mid-April 2020 reading. Lovely to be here, thank you for joining me. If you're a regular, welcome. Lovely to have you back on the channel. If you are new, um, great to have you with me. And if you'd like to subscribe, that would be fantastic. So Cancer, very interesting energies. Michael's been showing me um, a lot of different visions of road maps. Uh, visions of road maps, rather, um, different types of junctions, anything to do with roads, travel, but very complex systems. Okay, so let's begin with our usual channel message from Archangel Michael. Let's see what he has to say in terms of the vision for you for mid April. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. What do you have, please, for my Cancerians? This is for mid-April 2020. Thank you, Michael. Yes, he's asking me to settle my energies and to concentrate. Okay, you ready, Cancer? I hope so. So, Archangel Michael, thank you. What do we have, please, for my Cancerians? This is for mid-April 2020. Thank you, Michael. He's showing me the... He's showing me a vision of a young guy in a car. He's got an old map on the front seat. He's a little bit worried because he is pressed for time. There is a deadline. There's a deadline. He's trying to get from one place to another, but he has to go through a very, very busy city. And he's slightly unsure as to how to find a way around the city without going through it. He approaches a very important junction and he's a little bit nervous because it looks as if there's heavy traffic ahead and he's going to miss the deadline. Miss the deadline. On his left, he sees a few bollards and he's noticed some roadworks on the left. And there seems to be a very small track that leads off the motorway on the left. And as the car slows down, there's a lot of traffic in front of him. He gets more and more nervous. He's got to make that deadline. He's got to make that deadline. He keeps glancing over to the left. Should I take a risk? Should I go down that track? Don't know where it's going to lead. But there is a chance that I could miss all this traffic. He's not sure. 50-50. Michael's saying 50-50 is very important doesn't quite know whether he will be successful. He peers at the traffic ahead. It is absolutely rammed. He is going to be definitely very, very late for a crucial appointment, a deadline. He decides he's going to do it. He's going to do it. There's a lot of hooting of cars around him but he inches out of the line of cars and races down this what looks like a dirt track. Very rocky, there's a bit of rubble on one side, bollards, signposts. Wow, it says do not enter. He drives straight past it and he realises that actually the road leads out almost like a ring road which means that he doesn't have to get embroiled in sitting in traffic. And he realises, checking the map, that it's cut out, not only the delay, but it's cut out. Mike was showing me five to six kilometres of road. Now, Michael, in my mind, is crossing out kilometres and putting months. So this is a time sensitive situation. Someone's found a shortcut to cut out a few months of waiting. It's a bit risky. 
they're taking a shortcut, but they're successful. Vision is fading, guys. Interesting. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So, Cancer, let's get into this and see what else comes through in your reading. <laughs> All right. You ready? Okay. Thank you for bearing with me for the vision. It's usually very important linked to the reading, as you know. Um, I'm hearing the name... Begins with J. What is this? Jason? Jason? Jansen? Hmm. Jasper? J. 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 A. Something. Hmm. Okay. Relevant for someone. Hmm. Okay. Here we go, Cancer. All right. Wow. Okay. Rebuilding, rebuilding, rebuilding. Okay, under the deck. Magician in reverse. Could be connected to a Scorpio, Gemini. Ten of Wands in reverse. Letting a situation go. Cancer. But what is interesting, under that... Nine of Swords in reverse. Oh, could be dealing with an Aquarius. Nine of Swords in reverse. You're coming out of a very stressful period. Um, I almost feel as if you're coming out of a tunnel and understanding what's been going on and relief is going to follow and possibly also a sense of justice. Okay. So, Cancer, we start with Leo. So, this could be directly in connection with a Leo. This could be a scenario where the person that you are maybe in a connection with was dealing with a Leo. Possibly lying about a Leo. Okay. We also have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. Gemini in particular and also Libra. Now, strength is also you holding your head high. Getting your strength, courage and confidence back, maybe. After a situation that you found very difficult. There could be a sense of not really knowing what was going on. Maybe no communication. Or maybe you are holding yourself back from communicating with someone because you knew that they wouldn't be telling you the truth. I am hearing, I didn't know what was going on. So this could be you becoming enlightened as to what someone was planning someone was wanting to do in a situation wake up call now i understand the magician in reverse can be someone who is manipulating a situation you may have actually known that cancer you may have been quietly intuitively understanding that somebody 
was manipulating a situation and you have now decided, I can't carry this burden anymore. I know what's been going on. I'm letting this go. This is also potentially coming to the understanding that you couldn't manifest a new start somehow with someone. And with that understanding, deciding, okay, time to move on. Time to embrace change. Now, what I'm feeling here, there could be a situation where somebody now is in the middle of some kind of separation, could be a legal case, and someone has been trying to find a shortcut in order to move through the case with a sense of justice, without it taking too long. In the past, Cancer, Seven of Wands in reverse, I think you accepted defeat in a situation. It could be understanding that you couldn't mend a connection. Somebody might have been lying to you, withholding the truth. And in the immediate past, after that time, after you accepted that maybe you couldn't change a situation, you withdrew emotionally. Holding back messages, maybe communication. Or you could have been in a situation where you needed to settle the emotions of a child in the mix. Concentrate on a child in the mix. The veil's lifted, Cancer, and you now see the truth of a situation. And I think the truth was that someone here had stepped out and hadn't been telling you the truth. I have to be honest, this could be your energy. But this for me usually is an affair. In the upright, this is a passionate new start. In the reverse, this is lust and desire. This is what you're thinking about. Now, you may also be understanding at this point, Cancer, that you can't relight that flame. Maybe the passion has gone. Maybe the behaviour of someone has just put that flame out. Trust is gone. Realising you were manipulated and you have to let this go. Archangel Michael, when do we have the energy in the immediate future, please? I'm actually seeing in my mind's eye the 18th of April. 18th of April to the end of June. Okay. Cancer, you're sitting in justice. Now, this could be the finalisation of a legal case, could be separation, okay? You're getting justice, maybe financially, for someone being unfaithful to you, someone lying to you. Or you're just getting yourself rebalanced in a situation where so much was hidden, so much was withheld from you. Needing to take that time to settle your energies. For some of you, you're connecting with a Libra at this time or moving forward with a Libra. Putting someone else in the past and looking to the new. This could be you achieving balance, achieving justice far sooner than you thought would be possible. And this is something that's been a relief to you. Yes, heartbreak from the past. Yes, uncomfortable energy. But you are free. You're liberated. You've received 
what you need to receive to make you feel better about the situation. In the environment is the Nine of Pentacles energy. This is someone who is single. So you could be moving forwards towards someone who is single. But this can also be how people see you, Cancer. Now, fully able to move forward yourself after maybe some deception in the past. Wanting to start your life again with someone. Realising how stressful the situation was. This manipulation, this burden that you've now let go of. Maybe understanding after all of that, how stressful the situation was. And now looking forward to your new life. Starting again. You have security financially. This is someone who is very relaxed. Nothing else to worry about. Enjoying peace, maybe after the storm. In your fears, Seven of Pentacles. You could be fearing that whoever you have let go manipulated the situation and will be moving into a new commitment quite quickly. But Cancer, even if that is the case, you're free of this. This could just be a little bit of irritation. Another little cut that you just don't want to face. This is also, of course, you fearing being on your own. Yes, financially stable, but this is someone on their own, potentially. But Cancer, anything is going to be better than you sitting in a situation where there were lies, things hidden from you, deceit, manipulation. And judging from the energies that are coming through, I think you're going to make a decision to reach out and potentially move forward towards someone new. Start again. For some of you, you're hoping to connect with a Sagittarius when all is said and done. Temperance is in your hopes. Or maybe, Cancer, you're just wanting to tread water for the next few months. Literally, settle your energies, let the dust settle. And be patient, waiting for the right person to come into your life. The outcome with the Two of Pentacles in reverse is you making a decision. It could be a decision based around your finances. It could be balancing your money. You seem pretty secure here, but this could be you balancing your money. This is also for some of you I'm hearing making a decision to leave a particular area. Maybe too many memories of what you went through in the past. Deciding, yes, it's now time, big life change. Moving across the water, maybe. Maybe to friends and family elsewhere. Maybe some of you are just deciding if your finances can afford it. I need a really long holiday. I've been through enough. So here we have your scenario that you have now broken free of and I think much faster for some of you this is that shortcut could be cutting short a very lengthy court case okay unraveling a complex situation seeing the light and then making a decision maybe to detach but this is justice 
Justice may be with the Three of Cups in reverse for someone who had stepped out on you. Somebody who wasn't faithful. This could have been a Gemini with a lover's card. Or maybe this is a Gemini that you realised you just couldn't reunite with. Maybe because the passion had gone, the trust had gone. You felt manipulated, you were burdened. And so, yes, for some of you, two of cups in reverse, you've needed to let the soulmate go. But we meet many soulmates in our lives, some of which you know are put on our path so we can learn life's lessons. Some of them a little bit harsh, yes, but needed for our spiritual growth, for us to learn from that lesson so we don't repeat it again. And with the Three of Pentacles, you are rebuilding, rebuilding your life, maybe purchasing a property elsewhere, moving to a different apartment, working in partnership, maybe with friends and family to get yourself back to where you were before, to get back your courage, your strength, your confidence, your self-esteem, which I think was flattened by whatever happened to you in this situation. But you'll manage it, Cancer. You're strong. You'll do it. So this is, as I said, the calm after the storm. This is you getting justice in a situation. I'm feeling that for those of you, this is relief that this didn't take as long as you thought it might. Maybe a shortened court case, maybe reaching agreement with someone very quickly that you didn't expect to do, to be able to do. And now it is the future. So the worst is over. And you now can spend some time planning what you want for your future. It's actually an exciting time, Cancer. I've got good energies coming through. So, beautiful people, I'm going to leave it there. A challenging reading for some, but I do feel you are out of the woods. This has already happened. And there will be a sense of rebalance. Okay? So, take care of you. If this is your story, of course, reach out down below. And I shall be back very soon for your weekly reading. See you then, Cancer. Lots of love. Bye now.